Hills this Saturday morning. Joining us once again, Chef Michael Fecker from Il Mito East. Good morning. We have put a lot of love into this dish, and this dish is going to be on the 25th. I'm doing a tequila and taco and Mexican food tasting at Il Mito East. This is your fourth course. It's a duck and pomegranate taco. So I warmed up some nice tortillas. These are white corn tortillas okay. instead of the yellow corn. That's why you see the difference in color. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do, the two, usually we have... You see how they're stuck together a little mm -hmm. bit here? I took a little bit of that cotija cheese and I put it in between the two oh, tortillas okay. while they were warm. So mm -hmm. it works as a natural glue. Okay. Now here, first we're going to take a little bit of sour cream and in the bottom and spread it. Why are you doing this? Is because you're stopping the fat or the juices from the next ingredient to go inside the tortilla and make your tortilla okay, soft and Okay, and it and falls mushy. apart. Exactly, and, right, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is that same time, now you have that natural glue, mm -hmm. we're going to sprinkle a little bit more cotija just a <coughs> little bit. Look at this gorgeous. Uh, you remember how up. we started mm -hmm. with those ducks? Yeah. What color they were? This is the pomegranate and the natural caramelization. Bring it. Remember, everybody, a tortilla is the vehicle. You need to be able to close the doors before you can start driving. So okay, you've right. got to make sure you put enough ingredients that is just enough and it's not too big that you cannot enjoy that first right. bite. Okay. The beauty of a taco is just you get a bite and you have everything combined together. Mm -hmm. Now, the pickled onions that you and I made together, which you love dearly. <laughs> You know, you notice everybody those how just rub it in that she doesn't up. like. Yeah, those are, they and smell good though. They, they're wonderful and they give you that acidity that you need. Mm -hmm. Some fresh kale that has been sliced. Kale. Why use oh, okay. why use lettuce? Let's use kale. Mm -hmm. And again, now we come here and now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of cotija mass. It's a lot of cheese on this. Un poquito, yeah. como mucho. Okay. No, don't right. listen to it, everybody. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of carrots for color, and we are going to bring this beautiful sour cream on top. And this is what it is. Now, the black beans that's going to come, this is your coriander and a little bit of uh, saffron risotto okay. that's going to be next to it. And this is going to come to your plate. I'm sh uh, pairing this with a beautiful tequila añejo. And we're going to have a tequila makers. We're going to talk about the history of food of Mexico and all the flavors that I'm so in love with. And my wife, of course. <laughs> and these are small enough. You can pick these up and eat them. Chef, as always, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. If you would like to see this recipe, we have put it on the food page of our website, WISN.com. And we have also posted more information about Il Mito.